Hey guys, it's Sandra with sunshinescrapplace.blogspot.com and today I made a card using these two cartridges Mini Monograms and Wild Card. I was hoping to have some scrap pages done but I'm still waiting on the new paper doll uh, cartridge. I don't know what's taking so long but I had some pages in my mind, a few pages in my next pages in my scrapbook and I feel like I can't press on until I have it. So I'm just busy making more cards. This is the card that I made from Wild wow, Cards, like I said, on page 33. I just really thought this one was so cute, but I didn't know how to make it look, I don't know, girly. So I went ahead and I cut everything out already. And this is just um, cardstock from Paper Tray Ink. And I cannot think of the pink color right now. I'm sorry about that. I'll, I'll write it down when I post. And I went ahead and made this from Mini Monograms. And like I said, everything's already cut. So I'm just going to get started and explain. I went ahead and cut this 8.5 by 11 cardstock in half. You can get two cards out of that. And this one is just cut out at five and one fourth by four. So hopefully, like I was saying, by next week I'll be able to have some scrap pages on. To get moving on my book. I was just using the regular roll on adhesive. And this was cut at five and one fourth, both of these. So that's under icon in the book. So you're just going to use, hit that, the icon button, and click on that. And then cut this one up here on the top. Obviously, you would hit the shift button. Now, I did not make an envelope for this card when I came with the idea because I just couldn't think of an idea of what kind of paper I wanted to use and what I was coming up with just wasn't working. I just didn't want it to be all pink, I guess. So that's what it looks like before you place the black on. Okay. And with the black, I'm just going to use my Zig 2 wig one, or glue. I was going to say my glue gun. Go across here. Kind of have to work fast. Okay. That should do. what it looks like like that. I just think that's the neatest. Reminds me of some socks that I have actually. And I knew I was going to do this, but I forgot to place my ribbon on. So I'm going to have to pull this up real quick. I seem to do this a lot. I forget to place my ribbon on. This ribbon is from Paper Tree Ink. Love it, love it, love it. It just went perfect with what I wanted this card to look like. Again, 
borrowing my son's tape. You know, the tape so he doesn't use my tape. And now I keep taking his tape because I can't find my tape. Just doing the good old fashioned cheater method. You know, every, like I said, every time I use ribbon, I seem to forget to put it on. This one for me, the adhesive on here is not super strong. Or, mm, mm doesn't allow me to go back in and lift it up. It's not straight. Now this could have been done so much easier if I had remembered to put my ribbon on before I started. Alright, there it is with the ribbon. It's coming along very nicely. Let me go back and put all my stuff back in place. Alright, and this, I'm just going to use the Zigway glue to put this on. And this was cut at, scallop was cut at two, and this was cut at one and a half. So it's a little monogram card. It's just really cute. I got my steam fan on. It's working against me here. There we go. Now, if you don't have the wild card cartridge, I'm telling you, it's one of those ones worth buying. Just get a lot of great ideas out of it, and kind of take the hard work out of it for you. Not that this is hard, but sometimes when you just can't think of an idea, it's right there in front of you. And then you just use what you like. Okay, all done with wild cards and mini monograms. Nice little card there. Again, thank you for watching sunshinescrapplace.blogspot.com and hopefully soon I will have some scrapbook pages up. So, crossing my fingers that my paper doll cartridge comes this week. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Have a good night.